This video will demonstrate how to configure your Control-M to send alerts to an SNMP receiver or script. Alerts from the Control-M receiver are received through the gateways in the Control-M Enterprise Manager. Using the EM's Configuration Manager, we can set up the gateways to send the alerts to an SNMP receiver or script. In the EM's System Parameters, We'll review the various configuration parameters which we'll need to set to enable the sending of EM alerts via SNMP to a trap receiver or to a script. I've opened the system parameters and I'm going to select advanced and then filter on the parameter name percent SNMP. Here we have three system parameters, send SNMP, SNMP host, and SNMP send active. The first, send SNMP, will need to verify has a value of zero to send the SNMP message. We would set this to one to send a script and two to send to both SNMP and script. The second, SNMP host, will set to the host name of the trap receiver. This will likely be the host where your management software is running. Lastly, we'll set SNMP send active to one to enable this functionality. A couple of other parameters which you may be interested in are send alert to notes SNMP and send alarm to script. The send alarm to script will be the name of the script. Here, I have a script that I'll use as an example. My script's on the F drive in the CTM scripts directory and it's called test.cmd. I'm going to populate the value of this parameter with the name of the script and then click save to use it. More details on these parameters are in the control M administrator guide or the online help. Here, I've opened the online help and gone to the Control M EM general parameters section where these parameters are described in more detail. After we've changed the parameters, our final step is to restart the gateway. I'm going to close the system parameters, and here, if this was managed by the Enterprise Manager, I would change the desired state to recycle. Since I have a cluster manager to enterprise manager, I would simply take the gateway offline and then place it online again to restart it. This concludes this Control-M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.